Okay, I'm going to show uh, the advantages of working with a parameterized geometry in open form. This is done via a uh, side lab with a GUE. We got the main dimensions of the dryer here. Those can be modified. Uh, the width, uh, the height of the uh, cylindrical and the circumferential sections. Those can be written here. Also, we got the inlet and the atomizer parameters. Uh, you can uh, modify, for example, the nozzle angle, the nozzle length, the atomizer uh, hold uh, parameters and the number can work with a lot of parameters. Also with the air diffuser, uh, we can modify certain things. This is very important because this determines the swirl of the flow of the jet flow downstream. So we can modify uh, the angle uh, between the sections. We can modify the airfoil parameters such as the angle of attack or uh, the camber of the airfoil. Those are very important parameters. The airfoil, I mean with the airfoil, the stator airfoil, that is the, the one that direction it's the flow. Uh, we got the case parameters. We have to add a, a name, a case name, a slide angle for the 3D solid. In this case, it's going to be 20 degrees. Uh, we can work with the mesh as well. Uh, I wrote code uh, that automatically uh, meshes the the, the the geometry so we can do a preview of the the, the drive we just we just uh, design and we can of course uh, change some parameters for example we are we are we are uh, seeing that uh, we got uh, we changed the, the width of the dryer and we can see the, the two models so this is the model we are going to produce then the modified model and the idea is to uh, generate the uh, open form case. This is done by the M4 preprocessor. We are sending, uh, writing the the, 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 the the geometry files from side lab uh, to open form block mesh, and we give the order to to do the geometry. So we can have a very quick preview of the geometry with your, uh, just produce of the of the dryer uh, with the mesh in Paraview. There are some details of the mesh, and this is uh, the diffuser part. Where we have the, the stator angle we just uh, defined, and we can modify that angle if that is not enough. If, as you can see, that is we don't have a, a very big angle, so we can uh, modify that angle in order to add more swirl. So we can modify this the, this parameter C1, that is the, the, the angle between uh, the lower and the upper section of the airfoil and we can very quickly uh, re um, get the geometry again produce the geometry in part of view and we can see the it's a, a huge difference and this difference is mainly uh, on the angle of attack of this of the stator and uh, also in the camber because we modified it so as you can see uh, we can do big modifications in the geometry and mesh it very quickly what we are seeing now is the boundaries and um, the walls of the dryer of the section uh, to have a bigger idea of what we are doing we are not focusing in this presentation on the boundary conditions such as the inlet and the outlet and, and the cyclic conditions but there are of course cyclic conditions that allows me uh, having this uh, air with a circumferential velocity in the inlet that is called the swirl we're going now to run the case we can select turbulence model we can select the number of iterations and if we are going to do a transient uh, a simulation and if we are going to optimize a uh, something such as water or juice or, or, or anything uh, we can talk about the fluid properties in in other module uh, right now i want just to show that uh, we are calling right away the open form solver we call the potential form solver to, to calculate the potential flow and from that potential flow uh, 
that is a good first guess of what is going inside, we run the K-Epsilon uh, turbulence model uh, and, and we run the solver. This take a while. This is going to take a while, so what I'm going to do is uh, to accelerate uh, the, the, the video. But we, we are going uh, to see that we are getting already residuals for the solutions. So right now, we got uh, 100 iterations, and of course we we had a uh, we got a, a long way to go to converge. But I'm just showing you quickly uh, what can we do with uh, with with this uh, coupling between between Scilab and on open form. This is the solution for the potential uh, flow. And after that, we will see the, the, the solution at 100 iterations of the flow inside the dryer. So as, as you can see, it all was done in, in a very short time. Other very important thing uh, we can do here is uh, the mesh refining. Um, I wrote uh, an algorithm that uh, is capable of doing that uh, in an automatic way. So we can refine the mesh um, from 1 to 100% and even more. Uh, we already are refining the mesh in, in, in our geometry and this can be done very quickly without uh, opening the open form the text files, the configuration files. So as we can see, we already ha have got a refined mesh. Uh, and we are visualizing it in part view. So that's something else, an extra we can do in, in, with, with, with this uh, um, uh, side lab a GUE. There are many things we can do here uh, regarding the geometry. We got more than 20 variables and of course we can think about the effects of these variables in the airflow and in the airflow with atomization. I mean, that's the aim of this project, uh, to write some papers about that. A couple of papers uh, of the effect of the geometry on the airflow, on the effect of the inlet and the third angle of the diffuser uh, when we got a uh, fluid atomization. Uh, as an example, I mean, we are going to work quickly to change the geometry in, in a big way. We are going to have like a, a... And we can see the modified design on the preview. However, we did a mistake and um, we are correcting it. Right now we can see that there is the, 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 the fluid area, the area in the, in, the, in the inlet is very small. We are going to make it a little bit larger. Right now we have our dryer. It's a very uncommon design, but we can test it. I mean, we can compare many designs quickly. So that's the geometry. And now we are uh, writing the, 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 the mesh. And we are going to visualize it in Paraview. As I said, this is a very uncommon design of Sparadier because usually the lower, um, the, 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 the height of the lower uh, cylindrical, conical section, I'm sorry, is, is let me half of the uh, height of the, of the total dryer, the complete dryer. Right now we are just uh, running simulation right away. And very quickly we, we can have uh, the first results. Of course this solution needs to, to converge a, a lot more, but as a matter just to show you how quickly we can work with this, uh, I'm showing you. I'm showing you the results in the first uh, 100 iterations. Also, I mean, we can also visualize the effect of the of the swirl in, in the z direction. We're going to visualize it. This is the um, 
vertical and now this is this, this is uh, the circumferential velocity of the flow because of the swirl uh, we are going we are giving uh, because of the uh, diffuser so as a conclusion uh, we can have uh, some further work on this I also have to add a thermophysical module where we can set the mass flow of air mass flow of liquid and to declare the properties of both also we can also have uh, some optimization algorithm algorithm to work on the uh, optimization of some parameters for example speed velocity in some parts of the dryer depending on two or three uh, design variables those can be biospired and finally we can have a direct coupling with paraview to obtain quickly a graphs and charts of what we are looking for it's an example of velocity fields in certain lines of the dryer um, temperature and temperature and humidity fields as well in different positions but this is what we are looking for so thank you a lot for watching this and i will continue uh, posting my future work here